Do you know the Travolta combination? Uh, so named because of ah, 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 staying alive. This, this. So it, it kind of comes with a, it in a combination all its own, right? Because it's a pinwheel. And then one goes up and one goes down on the side. So if you're doing the counterclockwise, as it comes over the top, instead of doing an extension, you come down, you do the drop stall. So that's the easier one. Then you're going to come back up in reverse direction. And then when you come down this time, you do the up stall, reverse, and you're back to where you started. So it's down, come back up, reverse, and then up, come back up, reverse, and you're coming back into counterclockwise. So down stall, back to pinwheel, and then up stall, back to pinwheel. And you can put however many you need in the middle in the pinwheel to regain your composure or feel good about One it. One thing to focus on is you're um, yanking it back down. So like uh, it went up, but then it started f flopping over the top. When that's happening, you uh, want to focus on the point, that zero point where it stops, tugging it back down to keep it straight. So it's that tug that helps keep it nice and straight, which my downstall is kind of shitty. Uh, if you think of your body, there's midline of your body, there's like uh, what, what I call the outside line of your body, and then there's the far outside line. So there's like, I think of it as five different lines. Makes sense. So if we call them slots one, two, three, four, five, it's like you were doing five and two as opposed to five and one. So when I'm doing the Travolta, I'm doing it on the one and five, we'll call it. So I'm doing like the full extension. So it's almost like, um, like if you're thinking of the pinwheel, I think of the pinwheel as the big extension pinwheel, and it's the big extension coming into the stall versus the tight one. For me, uh, whatever works for you. One of the reasons why I think the extension helps, if you do it with a little bit more of the extension, you have more time as you're coming up, which means you have more time to get underneath it to get the clean up stall. And then, you know, extension down to the drop stall. Then you change direction to counterclockwise, and then extend up stall, clockwise, down stall, counterclockwise, up, and clockwise, down, counterclockwise, up, clockwise. Let's drill the left hand again. Let's just do five sets of both stalls. Let's start in counterclockwise. And then uh, let's do like, we'll do one, two, then stall, and then one, two, and then come around and stall, reverse, and then one, two, and then drop stall, and then reverse, and then one, and two, and your up stall. And third set, one, and two, and your drop stall, and one, and two, and your up stall. Fourth set, one, and two, and, oh, sorry, and <laughs> one, and two, and your up stall. Fifth set, and one, and two, and your drop stall, and one, and two, and your up stall. Sorry, counterclockwise. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and up stall, and one, two, and drop stall, and second set, and up stall, and one, two, and drop stall, and third set, go up, and one, two, come down, and fourth set, go up, and fourth one down, and last one up, and then last one down. Let's try them. I will mirror you. You start in counterclockwise and I'll start in clockwise. So five, six, seven, and stall. Oh, not bad. Five, six, seven, and stall. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care about the count. It's more about uh, do it when you feel like it. I'll do one. And, and stall. And stall, and stall. Oh, that was a terrible stall on my part. And stall, and stall, and stall.